Hey uh, everybody, uh, Textbook again, back with my uh, second video for the night. Uh, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, um, I know there's a lot of videos out there like this, but you know, uh, I want to make it a little bit more detailed, you know, just make it a bit easier. I'm going to be showing you how to edit a uh, Flash template. Now you're going to need some programs for this. One, you're going to need a program called SoThink. SWFD compiler, which I'll put in the description box, and of course you're gonna need Adobe Flash CS, well, whatever version you want. This Adobe Flash. Um, I will also put a link to trials in the description box as well. You know, uh, if you already have it, that's great. All you need is so the uh, so thing SWFD compiler. I've already have a a template right here. That let's go ahead and open that up. After you're done, uh, this is pretty much what you're gonna get. After you're done installing it, uh, gives you the overview of the video. You can play the in you just uh, like a regular Flash template. You can click play intro to play the whole intro. Uh, we're not gonna do that right now. Um, pretty much, you can go through all this and you know see what you can just play around with it. You know, uh, see what you can find out about it. Uh, I pretty much have everything set up already so what I would just go ahead and click uh, export FLA it's going to save to my desktop uh, you can mess around with all of this I usually use this uh, um, alone uh, right here the select export FLA version I usually use it as an automatically using appropriate FLA version you know so it corresponds to when it was actually made you know so it doesn't let anything mess up so uh, after you're done with all this just click OK and since they're exporting here, uh, this uh, so thing might say not responding up here. As you see, right there it goes not responding. Uh, it is responding. You know, just let it do its thing because it is exporting. You see, it is uh, still works. You know, but it is done exporting. So it's ready. Go ahead and close that down. And uh, here it is, right here, the, the FLA version. What you can do now is just double click on it, and it'll open up an Adobe Flash. And uh, you might get this font mapping. If you don't have the correct font, you know it's gonna automatically, uh, automatically uh, change it to some default font. Just click OK. And uh, this is pretty much the video. Uh, you got your timeline, motion editor, output. Um, you can go ahead and play the movie as well. Uh, test movie, sporting. And uh, yeah, just go ahead and play the intro. You know, see how it looks. But uh, let's really go down to the uh, editing. Um, I believe it is. There we go. Uh, what you're gonna really do is click. Uh, what was? It? Yeah, window and library, so you can get this window right here and uh, these are all the tools you can usually edit with everything with uh, what you're going to need to is that for the library it has all the actions that you're going to need uh, just for the uh, template itself just for example like text uh, it shows like what it what it does in the right here the preview box at the top so let us see Ideas, solution. Uh, you see, all these are all text right here. This is all text. See right here, here the creative team. So let's go ahead and double click this right here. And there it is right here. So you just want to double click that so you can edit it. Now you type in whatever you want. Just type in text. Spam. And uh, you can go ahead and pretty much, you pretty much don't, you know, just. I'll click, you know, just click anywhere around it and it's done. Uh, and it's pretty much final, you know, it'll automatically just, you know, change it. So you can go back to control, test movie. It's gonna, ex it's gonna uh, export it. 
and uh, just go ahead and click play intro. I'm going to also show you how you can automatically make a play. You see there's the name right here. You can change design studio as well. You just got to play around with the text. Uh, now, if you want the movie to play automatically, right, you press and play, for like, example, you're going to use it for a YouTube intro, uh, you wouldn't be able to use it because uh, in order to use it, you got to press play, and of course, YouTube isn't, you know, uh, like a, it's not, like it's, it is a flash site, but you can't really you know, press the button. <clears throat> press the button, and it's going to start playing, or if you try to export it as a video, it's just going to show, um, play intro and you can't click it at all unless you're putting it on a site for flash you know so what we're going to go ahead and change it and click actions it's going to tell you frame now as you can see right here uh, it's going to show you the action scripts what the action script does is that it tells the video pretty much what to do how to act you know action so let us see where it says stop right here stop right here you can see on this stop now this middle frame right here as you can see right here is where it's going to start playing so we're going to want to go ahead over here and click this right here stop delete it and type in play now it turns to blue automatically and uh, you can go ahead and test it out test the movie and it should start automatically playing. There it goes. We didn't even have to press anything, it just started playing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. How to edit the uh, flash. Uh, you can play around with it more depending on the flash template and how detailed you want it. Uh, I'm not going to take the whole entire time just uh, editing the video because that'll take a little while. And uh, yeah, this is um, good for you know intro videos for YouTube, whole bunch of stuff. You can also add your own shapes, but uh, you know you just gotta play around with it. You know, you just gotta try out what you like, and uh, you know just play around with it. You know, just experiment. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching. And I will include all the links to everything you need in the description box to the uh, right. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope this helps you.